Hey, are you tired of playing with individual layers to de-emphasize less important parts of your drawing? If yes, then stay tuned because this video is for you. As today, the options we have to de-emphasize portions of our drawings are 1. Changing each individual layer transparency so they print lighter or option 2. Have a CTV file or plot style with the correct color settings that will print lighter or darker depending on the color that you layer have. But today, we have a third option, which is the option that I'm gonna give it to you right now. It is the custom transparency command, which the cool thing is, it can be applied globally, as you are seeing it. In this example, we separated the existing conditions from the proposed floor plan, so, the new floor plan stands out. How cool is that? Now, if you're not seeing your transparency on your model space, it's because you have your transparency display settings off. So, simply type transparency display. Zero will turn that off and one will turn it on. The nice things are, this command will work with literally anything. As you might see here, we're using even an OLE image. And for those advanced AutoCAD users, you know that this is impossible in AutoCAD. We don't have that much flexibility with OLE images. But hey, this custom command works. How cool is that? To create our AutoCAD custom command, let's type CUI and enter. This will bring us to the customizable user interface of AutoCAD. Here, we can duplicate any of the existing commands, rename it, and change its macro. Alternatively, we can hit the start icon to create a new command, and again, rename it and change its macro. So let's create our custom command. A quick explanation of this macro would be CC to get out of any active command, then we'll use the command layer. We'll use M to make a new layer, and the name of my layer would be lighter, but you can pick your own names. Then we'll use TR to set the transparency. In this case, I'll pick 50, but again, you can pick your own numbers. Then we'll use the command rectangle. Our final command would be wipeout. We'll set P for polyline, L for last, and Y for yes. That would be all the code for this macro. Now, to use our custom command and have it always available, we can either add it to our AutoCAD ribbon, to our AutoCAD quick access panel, or to our AutoCAD tool palette. So let's add our new command.
Let's test our AutoCAD transparency command. One click, two clicks, and done. Awesome. Now let's preview. How cool is that? A portion of my drawing is lighter automatically. Don't forget to check the plot transparency option whenever you plot a drawing. Hey, but if you're subscribed already to the Lazy Architecto, you know that also we can automate this. So to make our life easier, we can use the plot transparency overwrite system variable. If we set that to 2, we don't need to worry about it. If we got help today, you help. Share. I upload videos every Tuesday, so don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. I'm the Lazy Architecto. See you in the next tutorial.